what a view. We're up in Onslow, which is 1,400 kilometres to the north of Perth. It's very early in the morning, 6.23 a.m. Who gets up that early on a holiday? Well, it'll be worth it. As the new day dawns, something very special happens in this town. This sculpture depicts the badge on the hats of our diggers, and it's been positioned just so on the shores of Beedon Bay. Imagine being here as the sun rises on Anzac Day. What a spectacular way to start the day. And it's quite an emotional way to start the day as well. It reminds you just how lucky we are. And you are rewarded for your early wake up with time for a stroll before the rest of the town wakes up. Beedon Bay seems to be the place to remember former townsfolk who've done their bit and then some. Dedicated to the memory of Onslow Police Officer Ian Blair, this boardwalk meanders its way across the top of the bay's sand dunes. The salt ships being loaded in the distance, views out to the mackerel islands, lots to stop and discover along the way. In the town itself, there's history. The unique verandas of St Nicholas's Weatherboard Church have withstood cyclones which have flattened surrounding buildings, and it's earned itself a place on the National Heritage Register. And then there's the people of Onslow and their passions, or is that their obsessions and quirks? This is the shell collection of Neil Baker, who spent over six decades trading and collecting shells all around the world. There are thousands of shells, many of them very rare and very valuable. This shell is a very rare shell. There's only three of them that we know of has ever been found, and uh, I refused 20,000 for that shell. You're not gonna sell it? No, couldn't sell it, no. Not when a friend gives it to you. I'm very pleased to be the owner of it. And then inside the town's final remaining aviation fuel tank is an artistic offering which almost defies description. German crayons bought at the post office were used by the Stein family to transform the walls of the tanks, which was also their home. Their young children used to search for their favourite characters as they fell asleep each night. For a town with just under a thousand people, there's quite a lot to discover in Onslow and the best way is on a tour they've got called the Hidden Treasures Tour. Mind you, they did say you'll have to do the sunrise bit for yourself. 